This is a chapter of survival, a chapter of brotherhood, and a chapter of loss. Every day, Marines battle in Iraq. But when they come home, it's a chapter of transition. It's their next chapter. Lance Corporal Josh Fincham survived some of the bloodiest battles in Iraq. During a raid on insurgents, he was injured by grenade shrapnel and a gunshot wound to the hip. He still carries the enemy bullet in his left hip. When you get hurt and you come back alone, it's really hard because you feel like you are alone, you know. When Fincham came back from Iraq in December, he went on leave to see his family in Virginia Beach. It was worse at first. It was a lot worse. I mean, my mom, she told me stories about how, you know, uh, she'd come in to wake me up in the morning, and I would just sit up and say weird stuff to her, like, you need to go to the PX and buy me new boots because mine got blown off and stuff like that. And she said I was saying some really weird stuff. Fincham realized one thing about his transition. His family couldn't help him much more. He needed to turn somewhere else. The Marines he fought next to every day in Iraq was his solution. The Marines of 1st Battalion, 3rd Marine Regiment. I mean, you know, you love your family and you love the mail and, you know, you love talking to them, but your family only helps you for the five, ten minutes that you can call them and, you know, as soon as that's done, you walk out and there they are again. That's all you have, so you put your life in them. One thing he turned to was his love for tattoos. I don't know, it's pretty tight though. As soon as I saw it, I was like, I gotta get it. Music is another one of his loves. It helps when I'm playing because, like, you don't think about anything, really. Like, I'm not thinking about anything. I'm just playing. I'm not, like, no thoughts are going through my head. I'm just concentrating on what I'm doing. Above all the tattoos, the music, and time to relax, only one thing topped Fincham's list in his transitional tool bag. Friends. Friends, number one, for sure. Yeah, and not even so much as, like, friends at home, like, really, like, the friends that you were there with. Seeing the guys I got hurt with, that was, that was just amazing. You don't think about it too much while you're home on leave, but, like, you haven't seen those guys in four months, and those are the guys that, you know, you, you last saw when you're laying, dying on the ground. It's so good to see them again. While fighting in intense battles every day, Fincham says it's hard not to put your faith in someone above all the bullets and explosions. I don't know if there was too many people out there that weren't, you know, praying every night and I, I did like, I headed up a Bible study and uh, a lot of people came to that. For Lance Corporal Josh Fincham, the transition back to peacetime has been a process. And just like in Iraq, he's got brothers watching his back, going through that same chapter of their lives together. Corporal Jeremy Vaught, Marine Corps Base, Kaneohe Bay, Hawaii.